Building relationships with your students is like building a block pyramid. There are foundational pieces that provide support, and without them, your relationship with that student may not be strong enough to be effective. The trick is figuring out which pieces are the correct ones for those strong foundations, because they're different for every student. But community trust might be a centerpiece that other aspects of your relationship can build upon. My name is Darnell Hamilton. I am a resident of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Uh, Milwaukee public school teacher now for nine years as a special education math teacher in the district. Darnell believes that developing authentic, close relationships with students and their communities is key to student success. You, you can't really expect the child or their parents to fully trust that you have their best interest at heart if you have not met them head on with a conversation of who are you? What are the things that you need to become successful? What do you need from me to help you actually uh, do this school thing effectively? Although many teachers ask these questions of students, Darnell learned that often these questions need to be asked of the students' families or communities too. And I started understanding like, how am I immersing myself in my students' community? Am I asking about their family? Am I posting up at parent-teacher conferences? You, you just have a sense of caring about not just one thing and that one thing being how they perform in your classroom, you know? Asking relational questions with genuine interest can help create a sense of trust between you and your students and their parents, especially if that student and family have a background that's different from your own. When I look at my white colleagues, male and female, whether they live in a city or they're in the suburbs, the thing that strikes me most is just how hard and difficult they find it to build a relationship with one of their black students. And I'm just like, why is that? Well, you can do that because, stop there. Do not say it's easy for me because I'm black because that's a cop out. Um, it becomes what inside of you is sort of hitting a wall in that relationship dynamic with your students. There's a different approach for each family. But what remains the same is your energy and zest for helping your student get through high school. But the thing about it is you have to be consistent. You're gonna have great days in communication where, hey, you had a great day, let me call your mom and dad and let them know how you did. Uh, oh, not a such a great day, so let me actually write you up and refer you and try to get you suspended without any communication coming directly to you or to family. Where is the consistency? If you're doing that in one aspect of their uh, academic life and the school building, you have to do it for the other as well. That consistency with the student and their family can turn itself into dependability, and that dependability can turn into trust. You, you gain a sense of trust from families, like you are the parent away from home for them. And that is essentially the role you want to garner as an educator, especially as an educator of black and brown children. Because when we take a look at black communities and uh, Latin communities of Mexican, Puerto Rican, that can continue going um, uh, in those dynamics. The familial education is very important. Uh, that's a very important dynamic in those young people. Like when we talk about the relationship to their grandparents, the relationship to their cousins, the relationship uh, to very much extended family. Well, you become a part of that extended family. Being part of your student's community of trust is one way to really help them thrive. How are you creating trusting communities for your students?